Pleasant Prairie Generating Station in Kenosha County, 45 miles north of Chicago, burns pulverized coal, and the carbon dioxide from its combustion goes up the stack into the atmosphere, as it does in all conventional power plants. We have two units that are uh, rated at 620 megawatts each, so it's over uh, 1,200 megawatts uh, output. Pleasant Prairie has been selected as the site of an experiment to determine if it's economically feasible to capture the carbon dioxide emitted by a coal-fired power plant before it goes up the stack. We look at this uh, gray duct up here, that's the transition duct between the scrubber and the stack. That's the connection point for the carbon uh, capture pilot plant. The experimental capture process developed by a French-based company has thus far been tested only in laboratory settings. But if it works here, the technology could help clean up other conventional coal-fired power plants. This would be retrofits for existing stations, or it would be something that could be designed in on a, even a brand new plant. That the Pleasant Prairie experiment will be small scale and involve only carbon capture and not carbon disposal concerns some environmentalists. They're ultimately going to re-release it into the environment, so there's no net benefit in terms of trying to combat global warming. But at least you, you figure out, does the process work, don't you? Th th and that's important, and we urge them to scale it up and try to get an answer real quickly. In a world where we actually do something about global warming, does coal have a future?